You may be familiar with the Xi'an Y-20 transport aircraft. The Y-20 stands as China's first heavy airlifter, developed in cooperation between the Xi'an Aircraft Corporation and with support from Russian and Ukrainian counterparts. Its noticeable similarity to the C-17 Globemaster, a heavy airlifter manufactured by Boeing for the U.S. Air Force, has led to hot discussions about whether the design of Y-20 was influenced by this U.S. aircraft. However, before delving into the debate, let's first examine the striking resemblances between the Y-20 and the C-17 by comparing both aircraft side by side. The Y-20 conducted its maiden flight in 2013, a significant achievement that placed China as the fourth country globally, following the US, Russia, and Ukraine, to successfully develop a 200-ton military cargo aircraft. The development of the Y-20 was reportedly expedited due to the urgent need for an airlifter to provide assistance to Chinese provinces following the significant 2008 earthquake. Series production of the Y-20 commenced in 2015, and it became operational within the Chinese Air Force in 2016. The Y-20 boasts a substantial payload capacity reaching up to 145,505 pounds, capable of transporting a single Type 99 tank, which weighs 55 tons, or a ZTZ-99, China's largest tank. This impressive aircraft can also transport a diverse range of other vehicles, supplies, or a significant number of troops, and perform extensive airdrop operations. Y-20 has the capability to perform takeoffs in a relatively short distance, requiring only 2,000 to 2,300 feet, and has an impressive range of 2,800 miles to 4,850 miles, further enhancing its operational versatility. In contrast, Boeing's C-17 Globemaster III, which made its maiden flight in 1991 and completed the production series in 2015, is larger than the Y-20, with payload capacity that exceeds the Y-20s by 25,000 pounds. Its impressive payload capacity allows it to carry loads of up to 164,900 pounds and cover extensive distances of 6,230 nautical miles even when flying with no payload. With such payload space, this versatile aircraft can transport a variety of wheeled U.S. Army vehicles, including the formidable M1 main battle tank, three IAV striker armored combat vehicles, or six M1117 armored security vehicles. Furthermore, it is equipped for payload drops and offers seating for 54 individuals on the sidewall and 48 in the center line, enhancing its adaptability for different mission profiles and transport needs. Additionally, it has the capability for in-flight refueling operations. Similar to the Y-20, the C-17 also exhibits remarkable versatility, capable of taking off from relatively short runways measuring just 7,740 feet and can touch down in a mere 3,000 feet or less. It is also worth noting that besides excelling in conducting tactical airlift and airdrop missions, both the Y-20 and C-17 possess the same capability to transport litters for medical purposes and accommodate ambulatory patients, facilitating aeromedical evacuations as needed. The Y-20 follows a standard layout for a contemporary military heavy transport aircraft. Notably, the Y-20 incorporates several features reminiscent of the Ukrainian AN-70 military transport aircraft. However, there have been allegations that the Y-20 heavy transport aircraft's development involved stolen designs from Boeing, and it indeed bears a striking resemblance to the U.S. military's Boeing C-17 Globemaster III, particularly in its tail section and cargo compartment design. So, is it true that China was subjected to a technology theft of a C-17 Globemaster for its Y-20? Here's some facts that you need to know. In 2000, the Antonov Design Bureau of Ukraine proposed utilizing the design of their AN-70 military transport aircraft as a foundational model for the Y-20, 
even though the AN-70's design was untested at the time. While discussions were held regarding this proposition, China ultimately did not provide a definitive response. In 2006, the Y-20 project assumed national priority status in China, and the Antonov Design Bureau of Ukraine continued to provide assistance in its development. This joint endeavor, known as the AN-70-600 in Ukraine, essentially involved creating a larger version of the AN-70 powered by turbofans. However, in a notable incident back in 2009, a former Boeing employee was reportedly convicted of selling technical details related to the C-17 to China. And this occurred during the Y-20's early stages of development. On the other hand, surprisingly, in 2017, a Chinese national who operated load technology named Su Bin admitted guilt in a conspiracy to orchestrate a string of cyber espionage operations aimed at stealing classified U.S. military information, which encompassed details about the C-17 Globemaster. In a press release dated March 23, 2016, issued by the U.S. Department of Justice, Central District of California, Su Bin, as part of a plea agreement, acknowledged his involvement in a conspiracy with two individuals in China. This conspiracy took place between October 2008 and March 2014, during which they sought unauthorized access to protected computer networks within the U.S. These networks included those belonging to the Boeing Company in Orange County, California, with the intent to illicitly obtain sensitive military information and unlawfully export it from the U.S. to China. It was reported that this cyber intrusion included the illicit acquisition of approximately 630,000 files connected to the C-17. And this data was likely utilized in the development of the Xi'an Y-20. Information related to numerous U.S. military initiatives, such as the F-35 and F-22 stealth aircraft programs, was also unlawfully acquired through breaches into the networks of various other companies. The extent to which China may have used information about the C-17 to develop the Y-20 remains a matter of debate and contention. Beijing has consistently denied allegations of stealing U.S. technology for its weapons systems. However, observers have noted striking similarities between the two aircraft, ranging from the nose to the tail stabilizer. These resemblances have fueled discussions and speculation about the potential influence or information exchange in the development of the Y-20. But to draw definitive conclusions about this issue would require access to classified information and a thorough investigation, which may not be publicly available. So do you think that the Y-20 aircraft takes after the C-17? Share your thoughts in the comment below. Thanks for watching.